Hi everybody, in this Celebrity Assist video we're going to take a look at the process for registering for Celebrity Anywhere. This will give you your own licence, free of charge, that you can use on any suitable Mac or PC. I'm Ken Goods and I'm going to be running through this session today. So just a brief agenda, we'll take a look at what's needed before we start the registration process, then we'll go through the process itself. We'll then take a look at the administration side of things in the Solution Centre, which is where we do all the, the back end admin work and then we'll take a look at the next steps to allow you to explore further the, the product and the other members of the product family. So before we start there's a few things we need. First off is a reliable internet connection. We need this to register the license, we'll go through that shortly. We need it to access the Celebrity Solution Centre to go and download the software to install on our machines. And we also need it to access the cloud licensing system when we sign into the software and use it. Now for the registration process itself, we need to know some details to set up the Celebrity account. So we need the company name, the administrator name. That may be the same as the user, it may only be a single user account. But in other cases, we may have the initial user set up as the administrator to then add further users and other administrators to have multiple users in the one account, all using Celebrity Anywhere. So for that first account, that admin, we need to know their email address and we also need to have a password ready. So that's the usual sort of thing such as minimum eight characters, a mix of uppercase, lowercase, alphanumeric, the usual sort of thing you would expect for a secure password. We then need to have a suitable workstation that we're going to run the software on. So we support Windows 10 or Mac OS Mojave or later. And you can check the system requirements with this link. We'll put it in the description so you can access that easily later on. This recommendation is one of mine. It's just one of these things that I can't live without a standard three button mouse because the wheel gives me really quick access to pan, to zoom, and just very quick navigation around, whereas I find the the touchy mice that need two fingers, three fingers, four fingers, they're just not quite for me. So what we'll do now is we'll jump across to our browser and we'll go through the registration process. So I've started off on this page, this is the main Celebrity.com page, and there's various ways to get into the registration process for Celebrity Anywhere. Just be careful that you don't confuse this with the trial option, which is at the top of the page here. This is a different process with a different end result. So we're not going through that process in this video today. We're going to take a look at Celebrity Anywhere. So there's various ways into it. As I say, we can actually just Google and find the page directly that way. But another way is to go to our offering. And this shows our product family. And the product we're after is Celebrity Anywhere. You can also use this page to explore the other members of the product family and find out more information. But right now I'm just going to click on Celebrity Anywhere. So this takes me to a page that I can go and read through, find some more information. But if I keep scrolling, at the bottom of the page, there is this option here to allow me to start the registration. So I'm now prompted to fill in some details. So I'll fill these out now. So I've now gone through and added the various details needed to register. The final thing to do is to scroll down. And then we need to check through and approve the various terms and conditions that make up part of the registration process. So I'm just going to approve all and then proceed with Get Celebrity Anywhere. So at this stage, the registration process continues online and the next thing that should happen is you receive an email asking you to complete your registration. So my email's arrived and this is it here and you can see it basically thanks you for completing the registration and at the bottom we have the final option which is to go and set your password. This then opens a further page where we provide a new secure password. So once we've entered both passwords, green tick should appear to show that they meet the criteria and they match. We can then approve and agree to the terms of service once of course we've read all those details and click save to proceed. So the page now redirects to the Celebrity Solution Centre where I can provide my email address and password to sign in and access the products for download. 
So I'll leave this page here, briefly jump back to PowerPoint to go through a few points before we carry on. So now we're into the account on the Solution Center, we'll take a run through some of the settings and things that we can do in here, and then we'll jump back into the live page itself and take a look at what can actually be tweaked. So the Solution Center, this is the back office area where we administer the company account. The system is cloud-based, so you can remotely access it from any browser as and when required. To get into the system, you need your email address. Your email address can only be used with one Celebrity Solution Center account. So you'll see that I used a, a temporary um, Celebrity Assist email address to register this new Anywhere account. My own personal email address is linked to our Celebrity UK account and associated with the various different licenses and things that we have access to. Uh, I didn't use that because it would cause me a lot of grief. If you have any problems with your password, there is a forgot password button on the front page of the Celebrity Solution Center. Likewise, if the user forgets a password when they try and access the software itself, they simply come back to solution.celebrity.com and click on the forgot password link to go through the process of resetting. Occasionally we get problems signing in. Usually that's some sort of cache error. Clearing the cache normally would fix it or the little trick that I often use is to go to an incognito or a private tab, depending on the browser you're using, and that usually gets around the problem. The other alternative, really simple one, is just to use a different browser if you have one available. So going into a little bit more detail on the different parts of the Solution Center, the Solution Center is the same whether you're using Celebrity Office, Celebrity Site, or indeed Celebrity Anywhere. The default landing page is the products view, this part here and because I'm an administrator I also have the option to go to admin view. If you've been added as a user to another account you may not have access to the admin view if you're not set as an administrator. You'll see the page itself it will detect what platform you're using but you can switch between Mac OS and Windows as required. The product page here is the default page that we see and because we're talking about Celebrity Anywhere, this really is the only bit we're interested in. It's here we can download Celebrity Anywhere. The other products here, these are not available because there's no licenses associated to this account. And likewise, when we talk about the extension page, which is available under here, and also the training and documentation page, these really only apply to the commercial products. So you can have a look, but not many of the, the items in there will work. Final part is there is a logout option up here if you do need to switch between different accounts for other users, etc. But generally that's all we need at this stage. If we take a quick look at the admin view, this is the page that defaults when you go to admin. You see the account page where you're able to see what the name of the account is, the account number, the other administrators on the account, etc. There is a users tab and this is where we can go and add additional users to your account if you have other colleagues that you want to also use Celebrity Anywhere. The other tabs, they are for the commercial products. So you can have a look, but there won't be a lot that actually is available in those. So in terms of the users, we have this page where we can go and add additional users. We provide the details, the role, and if they're going to have a commercial product, if there were any commercial products on your account, then they would be assigned to a pool which would give them the appropriate license. However, in the case of Celebrity Anywhere, this part will be blank as you'll see on our live page in just a second. When it comes to modifying users, we can go back and edit the details if there are name changes or spelling mistakes, etc. If the email address is wrong, then that user really needs to just be deactivated and a new user added to correct that mistake. In the case of adding, and modifying users, we can do this using an export to Excel. So if you have more than three or four people to do, then you would export to Excel, add all the details into the spreadsheet, and then that can be re-uploaded to update the Solution Center in one hit, rather than go through the process again and again. Potential issues we do get sometimes when you add other users is they don't receive the email because of the various filters we've got set up. In that case, if they have a look for any emails from no reply at celebrity.com, that's where all the registration emails come from. Um, the alternative they have, if they can't find that, is to go to the Solution Center login page and use the forgot password, which will 
take them through the process of completing their registration and reissuing any emails that uh, relate to that. The only other part is if I was to try and use my personal email address here with the Anywhere account that I've just set up, I will receive a message warning that this account, or sorry, this email address is already associated to this account and effectively it would be starting a migration process that would switch me out from this one which, as I say, I don't want to do because there's a lot already assigned to my personal email address. However, if you come against that situation, you will get notification as an admin and the user will get an email explaining they're invited to join a different Solution Center account. So if I jump back into the Solution Center, because I'm running on Windows here, you'll see the operating systems automatically detected as Windows 64-bit. We do have MSI for automatic installers. We do have a 32-bit version for still a few tablets around and, and lower spec machines that use 32-bit, but effectively 64-bit Windows, and the only option I've got is to go and download Solibri Anywhere. So I literally click this link and wait for it to download. Once it's downloaded, that can be installed. We have other videos, we'll provide the links that explain those processes as required. So the only other part to look at in here is the admin view. And as I say, this is where we see the account details. So we can see the name of the account. We can see the account number. We can't change this. Um, we can see that I am the only account administrator here right now. If I go to users, then it's in here that I could come in and I could add additional users if required. So I don't actually have to change anything. As this is right now, this will just allow me to launch Celebri and run Celebri anywhere and not have to worry about any of the other settings. If I was to add users, we use the Add button. And then we go through and provide the various different details. But I'm not going to go through that process here. So that part of things I will just leave. What I'm now going to do is just go and launch Celebri. So as Celebri launches, it comes up and it asks me to provide my email address and my password. So because I'm the only user on this account, this is the email and password that I've used to access the Solution Center. So simply drop that in. And if I'm going to be the only user on this machine, what I can do is tick the Remember Me button, and then sign in. And on this next screen, because this account only has access to Celebrity Anywhere, then what I can do is pick Celebrity Anywhere and pick Remember This Next Time. That means both of these screens are bypassed so that when you launch Celebrity, it just goes straight into the software. With my own personal email address, because I have access to all of the products, I don't use this Remember option because depending on training or support or whatever requirement, then I have to switch between the different products. But here, Celebrity Anywhere, Remember This, Continue, and the next thing we see is the Celebrity interface where we can start to open models and do what we do in Celebrity. Again, there will be links that we'll provide to give you a bit more further information to follow up. Back in PowerPoint, there are some next steps if you need to find more information about the, the product, how to get around it. So the first video that I would recommend is this first steps with Celebrity. There are some links here at the bottom that will give you further information to help you learn the system, the software, and get you up and running with Celebrity. Thank you for your time.